Anthony Slater here with Eric Horn, and we are talking now NBA draft and a local guy, Buddy Heald. He's kind of, uh, you know, he became such a rising star this season, really all season, that triple overtime game against Kansas, and then deep into the tournament to the Final Four, uh, really led the charge for OU. The mock drafts have him going, you know, anywhere from about three to eight right now. Uh, a lot of teams, you, you kind of just don't really know in that range. It's not a super deep draft up top, so, I mean, he could – he, I think he wants to go to the Lakers. He's got this like Kobe connection with the agent Rob Palinka. Seems like a potentially a reach for the Lakers at three. But I mean, w- what do you see his buddy as a pro and where maybe he fits best? Well, I mean, with the way that the league values shooting now, Buddy's going to be a hot commodity. Um, and he's got a knock on him in the sense that the league likes these younger guys with more upside. And Buddy's already 22 years old. He's a four-year player at OU, but he's the best shooter in college basketball last year, and that's going to be valuable to somebody in the lottery. I mean. People have talked about with uh, New Orleans uh, letting Eric Gordon go uh, in free agency. Buddy could fill in that shooting guard position for them. Uh, the Sacramento Kings, uh, God bless Buddy if he ends up in Sacramento because they've been a train wreck the past for the past decade plus. But that would be a place where he could get some minutes and he'd be an upgrade over Ben McLemore, shooting guard. So there's a lot of options for him in that in that three to eight range, as you were saying. And Buddy's a guy who could come in and, and be a, a, a good long-range shooter. I mean, the defensive question is one that's going to be going to have to be answered by him because he's not exactly a six-six, six-five shooting guard. He's more in that six-three, six-four range. Yeah, the Lakers are going to take Brandon Ingram. They're yeah. at two. I, I think I said they were at three, but they're at two. The Celtics are at three. Uh, a potentially interesting landing spot, but the thing is, they're loaded with guards, mm-hmm. uh, with Marcus Smart, Avery Bradley, Isaiah Thomas. The question with them is like, do they are you know do they ship Bradley off for somebody else? Yeah. Kevin Love, you know, potentially in the mix. So a lot of moving parts with the Celtics. Then beyond that, you mentioned some of the teams. Uh, but then I mean, look, he's the same age as Stephen Adams. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was great for OU, and you know, it's great for college basketball. This four-year guy, you know, great name, really built himself. That's kind of how you like to see college players do it. But I mean, he's older than a lot of guys that have been in the league for two, three years. That's an issue, um, and he's really going to have to defend. Uh, you know, at OU, they had Isaiah uh, Cousins was kind of their primary mm-hmm. perimeter defender, um, and it's just it's college basketball. You're not guarding uh, these guys. And we saw in the playoffs, you know, how important perimeter defense is. Can he stay in front of some of the best two guards in the league? I think that's the knock. Uh, can he get to the rack? Um, I don't know, but you're right, shooting. Um, and in a not thin draft up top, he'll, I think you're definitely going to hear his name called within the first eight to ten picks. But uh, It would be interesting to see if the Celtics, whoever the Celtics draft, what they're going to do with that pick because they could trade they, it. Yeah, they could trade it, and for it might be a best case scenario for a guy like Buddy Hill because ideally he would want to go to a team that's ready to compete to where he could be a contributor off the bench as a shooter or even get some spot minutes as a starter. But if he's going to a lottery team like Sacramento, I mean, he, he's going to be buried in just obscurity and just bad basketball. So if a team like the Celtics did draft him. And then, and then traded him to a team that was contending for a already established player to kind of solidify what they have going on with some of the pieces they have and in, in Boston, like a Marcus Smart and Avery Bradley, and put a, a veteran around him, then Buddy could end up in a good situation. And if he goes somewhere else like New Orleans or, or um, Sacramento, then good that, luck to him. That is some of his appeals, that, hey, he can step in and, and contribute right away, whereas guys like yeah. Drog and Bender, I mean, he's like a 19-year-old you know, yeah. mystery, you know, long-term project. But you know, it will be interesting. The draft's Thursday night on ESPN, uh, but stay tuned to our draft coverage in every day on NewsOK.com and every morning in the Oklahoma. <laughs>